So right now I'm going to select right here and I'm going to put a little selection tool and I'm going to click generate to fill and I'm going to type dog playing and press generate. And now you can see I have a dog playing and I can even skip through a couple of them and choose the one that I like the most. And you'll notice what it did. Not only did it put the dog in there, but notice it's actually clipped around the grass and it's, it's built into the scene. Um, so one of the really cool things about this is it actually adds shadows and reflections based on the, the scene as the background. I want to add a tree, let's say, in front of this building. For my prompt, I'm just going to type oak tree. You'll notice it kind of gets blended into it. Um, sometimes the AI will pick up reflections and try to blend them in. So you'll notice that it actually blended in the reflections a little there as well as shadow. So let's let's add a couple more things. Let's add, let's quickly add a stream. Now you'll see we have a couple options here. That's not too bad. Add a little rocks and water there. Pretty cool. 